Hello everyone, I am Vivek Charles, Assistant Professor, Department of Zoology, Russian College, Mysore. My presentation is on the topic Dentition in Mammals. Under this topic, we discuss about types of teeth and their specialization, structure of tooth and dental formula. We all know the importance of teeth. It is required to consume food. Without teeth, animals cannot survive. Teeth are present in all higher animals such as vertebrates. The hard and usually pointed structures which are connected to jaw bones in the buccal cavity or mouth cavity of vertebrates are known as teeth. The arrangement of teeth in a vertebrate is termed dentition. Teeth are found among fishes, amphibians, reptiles and mammals. Teeth were also present in ancestral birds but absent in modern birds. Teeth are most highly specialized in mammals but it is also absent in few mammals. For example, in spiny anteaters it is completely absent. In platypus, the embryonic teeth are replaced in the adult by bony epidermal plates and in whales the fetal teeth are replaced before or soon after the birth by baleen plates for straining the food. Teeth play an important role in everyday life of an animal. The primary function of teeth is to grasp and hold the prey or food in the mouth cavity. They are modified to serve as a grinding mill for chewing food. They are used as tearing organs. They may also serve as weapons for offense and defense. In the picture, we can see an animal holding the prey and also tearing the muscles with the help of its teeth. Teeth are characteristic features of class Mammalia and their classification is based on their dentition. Thus, the study of dentition is important for taxonomic work on mammals. The number of teeth present gives an idea of the approximate age of the animal. It also provides clue to the diet of the mammal. Study of dentition has helped in deciding the ancestry of certain mammals. We can classify teeth based on shape, structure, attachment and succession. First we shall study types of teeth based on shape or morphology. There are two types of teeth in animals based on shape that is homodont and heterodont. First one is homodont. Homo means same. Odont means teeth. In vertebrates other than mammals, the teeth present are similar in shape and size. In the diagram we can see all the teeth are similar in shape and size, hence known as homodont or isodont. Such type of teeth are found in fishes and frogs. Second one is heterodont. Hetero means different, odont means teeth. In mammals, teeth are dissimilar in shape and size. In the diagram, we can see teeth which are having different shape and size, hence known as heterodont. Different types of teeth are known as incisors, canines, premolars and molars. We can differentiate teeth based on their attachment to jawbone. In vertebrates, there are three types of teeth based on attachment that is acrodont, pleurodont and picodont. First one is acrodont. In this type, base of the teeth are attached to the free surface of the jawbone as you can see in the diagram. 
such teeth are rootless and can easily break off but they are replaced by new tooth example shark and frog pleurodont in this type teeth are attached to the inner side of jaw bone by their base on one side as you can see it in the diagram such teeth are also rootless and found in urodeals and lizards ecodont type of teeth are found in mammals such teeth have well developed roots which are implanted in deep individual pits or sockets called alveoli or theca in the jaw bone in the diagram we can see the roots are embedded in sockets known as theca hence they are called as ecodont according to their permanence or replacement teeth are classified into three categories that is polyphyodont diphyodont and monophyodont first one is polyphyodont in greek poly means many phyo means growth odont means teeth in lower vertebrates teeth can be replaced an indefinite number of times during the lifetime of an animal that is if a tooth falls down due to injury or any other reason new tooth arises naturally at any age of an animal any number of times such condition is known as polyphyodont second one is diphyodont di means to phyo means growth odont means teeth in most mammals teeth develop during lifetime in two successive sets teeth of the first set are called deciduous or lacteal or milk teeth they usually erupt after birth milk dentition has no molar teeth later milk teeth are replaced in the adult by the permanent teeth which is present throughout the life if it is lost they are not replaced naturally only two sets of teeth are found during the lifetime of an animal hence this condition is known as diphyodont next one is monophyodont mono means single phyo means growth odont means teeth in some mammals such as platypus marsupials moles and toothless whales only one set of teeth develops during its lifetime such condition is known as monophyodont as already mentioned mammals are heterodont that is they have different types of teeth namely incisor canine premolar and molar in the picture we can see each type of teeth has a different shape size structure position and also function incisors these are the front teeth bone by the premaxillae in upper jaw and tips of dentaries in lower jaw they are single rooted monocuspid and long curved and sharp edge they are used for seizing cutting and biting the food in rodents and lagomorphs incisors are open rooted and continue to grow throughout life enamel wears down more slowly than dentine due to which sharp chisel like edge is formed which serve for cutting and gnawing in lemur 
Incisors are modified into denticulate like a comb which serve for cleaning fur. In elephant, upper incisors are modified into tusks which are having open roots and which grows throughout the life. Incisors are totally absent in sloths. In sheep and cows, it is absent only in the upper jaw and are present in the lower jaw. A single canine tooth is present in each side of both upper and lower jaw just next to the incisors. Canine teeth are generally elongated, single rooted and with a conical sharp monocuspid crown. They are used for piercing, tearing, offense and defense. In carnivores such as dog, lion, tiger, canines become large, strong, sharp and pointed spear-like for tearing flesh. In the diagram we can see in male musk deer Canines are present only in the upper jaw and in walrus, upper canines form tusks which are used for digging mollusks and also for locomotion on ice. In some herbivores such as rats, rabbits, cow, horse etc. canine teeth are absent due to which a wide toothless space called diastema is formed. In herbivores, canines are absent because they are not flesh eaters. They feed on plant products. Canine teeth are followed by premolars and premolars are followed by molars. Premolars and molars are collectively called the cheek teeth. Their crowns have broad surfaces with ridges and tubercles which are used for crushing, grinding and chewing the food. Premolars usually have two roots and two cusps and they are present in the milk dentition. Molars generally have more than two roots and several cusps and they are not present in the milk dentition. In the picture we can see premolar and molar teeth. Their crowns have broad surfaces with ridges and tubercles known as cusps. These cusps are used for crushing, grinding and shaving. We can also see two roots in the premolar teeth. In carnivores, the last premolar in upper jaw and first molar in the lower jaw are called carnassial teeth. Please look into the diagram. These teeth have very sharp cusps for cracking bones and tearing tendons. In crab eater seal, molars bear denticulate processes as we can see it in the diagram which are used to strain planktons. In higher primates such as man, last molar is called wisdom tooth. Its eruption may be delayed or it is imperfectly formed or absent in man. Premolars and molars are of different types based on the number, shape and arrangement of cusps. First one is triconodont teeth. As you can see in the diagram, it has three cones which are arranged in a straight line or linear series. It was found in some of the fossil mammals. Second one is tritubercular teeth in which three cones or tubercles 
are arranged in the form of a triangle. This was also found in few fossil mammals. Bunodont. This type of teeth are found in mammals with a mixed diet such as man, monkey, pig, etc. Their crowns bear small, blunt and rounded tubercles used for crushing. Next one is Cecodont. This type of teeth is found in carnivores in which teeth have sharp cutting edges for tearing and cutting flesh. Selenodont type of teeth occurs in herbivorous grazing mammals in which crown of the teeth bears vertical crescentic cusps of hard enamel which are used for grinding. Normal low crowned selenodont teeth with short roots are termed brachiodont. In large grazing mammals such as horse and cattle, teeth are elongated, prism shaped with high crowns and low roots. Such type of teeth are known as ipsodont. Lophodont teeth are found in elephants. Crescentic enamel cusps are connected by several transverse ridges called lophos as you can see it in the diagram. A single large lophodont molar teeth measures 30 cm in length and 10 cm in width. These type of large molar teeth are used to grind all sorts of plants including grasses. Structure of teeth is similar in all the vertebrates. A typical mammalian tooth is differentiated into three parts, crown, neck and root. As you can see in the picture, crown is the exposed glistening part projecting above the gum and out of the jawbone. Root is the basal part which is embedded in a socket or alveolus of jawbone. The junction of crown and root is called the neck. As we see in the vertical section of a human molar tooth, it is made largely of a hard dermal bony substance, the dentine or ivory. In the crown, it is covered externally by a thin very hard and shining layer of enamel. Enamel is the hardest substance in the human body. The root of the tooth is surrounded and fixed to jawbone by a layer of cement and a vascular connective tissue or periodontal membrane. Inside the tooth a narrow pulp cavity is present. It is filled with a gelatinous connective tissue or pulp. It contains blood vessels and nerves. Pulp cavity is lined by a layer of bone cells called odontoblasts. In the incisors of rodents, lagomorphs and elephants, pulp cavity remains open basally so that these teeth continue to grow throughout life and are known as open rooted teeth. In the majority of mammals including man, the basal aperture of pulp cavity becomes closed at a certain age so that nourishment stops and further growth ceases. Such teeth are called close rooted teeth. In mammals, number of teeth varies in different species, but 
number of teeth is constant and characteristic for every species therefore number and kinds of teeth in a species can be represented by a sort of equation which is called dental formula since two halves of each jaw are identical only the teeth of one side are recorded teeth of the upper and lower jaws are separated by a horizontal line types of teeth are denoted by their initial letters such as i for incisors c for canines pm for premolars and m for molars number of teeth shown in a formula multiplied by 2 gives the total number of teeth in a species a typical mammalian dentition includes 44 permanent teeth which are shown by the dental formula as follows i 3 by 3 c 1 by 1 pm 4 by 4 m 3 by 3 into 2 is equal to 44 that is 3 incisors are present in the upper jaw and 3 incisors are present in the lower jaw one canine tooth is present in the upper jaw and one in the lower jaw four premolars are present in the upper jaw and four premolars are present in the lower jaw three molars are present in the upper jaw and three in the lower jaw this is the teeth which are present on one half of the upper jaw and the lower jaw so if we multiply this by 2 then we get the total teeth that is 44 so totally they have six incisors in the upper jaw and six in the lower jaw two canines in the upper jaw and two in the lower jaw eight premolars in the upper jaw and eight in the lower jaw six molars in the upper jaw and six in the lower jaw so totally it will be 44 teeth to simplify this formula we can just write the numbers without the initials that is 3 1 4 3 and the lower jaw has 3 1 4 3 so that means it is understood that three incisors one canine four premolars and three molars are present in the one half of the upper jaw three incisors one canine four premolars and three molars are present in one half of the lower jaw so if you multiply this with 2 we get the total number of teeth present that is 44 if a certain tooth is absent it is indicated by a zero so if an incisor is absent it will be written as zero or if a canine is absent it will be written as zero so zero indicates the absence of a particular tooth we shall study dental formula of some mammals in order carnivora example cat it has three incisors one canine three premolars and one molar in one half of the upper jaw in one half of the lower jaw it has three incisors one canine 
two premolars and one molar. Two halves of each jaw are identical. That's why we multiply it by two. We get total number of teeth that is 30. Total number of teeth is species specific and it is constant. It will not vary from one individual to another. Therefore, all cats have same number of teeth that is 30. Another example is dog. It has three incisors, one canine, four premolars and two molars in the upper jaw. Three incisors, one canine, four premolars and three molars in the lower jaw. And if you multiply it by two, we get total 42 teeth which is species specific and it is constant in all dogs. In order rodentia, example rat, it has one incisor, canine tooth is absent, premolars are absent and it has three molars in one half of the upper jaw. It has one incisor, canine tooth is absent, premolars are absent and it has three molars in one half of the lower jaw. And if we multiply it by two, we get total number of teeth that is 16. In order proboscidae, example elephant, in one half of the upper jaw, it has one incisor, canine tooth is absent, three molars are absent and it has three molars. In one half of the lower jaw, incisor is absent, canine and premolars are absent and it has three molar tooth. And if you multiply it by two, we get total number of teeth that is 14. In order, Orchiodactyla, example horse, it has three incisors, one canine, four premolars and three molars in one half of the upper jaw and three incisors, one canine, four premolars and three molars in one half of the lower jaw and if you multiply it by two, we get total number of teeth that is 44. In order perisodactyla, example cow, in one half of the upper jaw, incisors and canines are absent. It has three premolars and three molars. In one half of the lower jaw, it has three incisors, one canine, three premolars and three molars. If we multiply it by two, we get the total number of teeth that is 32. In order primates, example man, two incisors, one canine, two premolars and three molars are present in one half of the upper jaw and two incisors, one canine, two premolars and three molars are present in one half of the lower jaw. If we multiply it by 2, we get total number of teeth that is 32. In monkey, one half of the lower jaw has two incisors, one canine, two premolars and three molars. And in one half of the upper jaw, it has two incisors, one canine, two premolars and three molars. And if we multiply it by 2, we get total number of teeth that is 32. At the end of the presentation, I would like to give you an assignment. Look at the picture and identify what type of 
food did the animal eat and it belongs to which order of class mammalia picture 2 picture 3 take care of your teeth and keep smiling thank you